Okay. What's up, gay people on folding chairs? Bow, 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 bow. Welcome. Hey, do you guys like a variety? Do you like ours? When the two come together, oh my God. Welcome to the historic Bob Baker Theater. Give it up. Woo! I know I thought I thought I really thought it was the Bob Barker Theater. I was so excited at the end of the show I was gonna be like, spay and neuter your pets. If you know that reference, you have no life. Honestly, it's a weird choice for a drag queen to perform in like a marionette theater. Like, how am I gonna seem petite? Why don't I surround myself with performers who are two feet tall? And this is a logo event. These are gay people. I was like, I thought gay people preferred no strings attached. (laughs) Should I leave? I'll leave, thanks. I was backstage and I was just sitting there and it's creepy back there. There's puppets hanging everywhere by little strings. And the guy came over to me and was like, all right, we have no rules. We have no rules at this theater, but no haunted puppets. Okay, bye. (laughs) And I was like, I was alone with the haunted puppets. It was like a pea flag mom sitting next to these puppets like, honey, are you haunted? Because if you are, you can tell me. Your father and I will accept you if you are haunted. We will march in the haunted puppet parade. I don't know about haunted puppets, but I do look like Annabelle, and I know that. It's not supposed to be that funny, so. So let's be honest, in a puppet theater like this with my guitar and my lashes, you know I look like Janice from the Muppets. It's kind of hardcore backstage here, though, because there's no bathroom, so I'm sitting back there, and I had to pee so bad. And all the puppets' mouths were closed. Even the ones with mouths open, I was like, you ain't that cute. So how many of you have seen me before? Woo! And how many of you have never seen me before? Woo! You notice I don't have a huge repeat audience. And some of you guys are about to find out why. This show could get quite offensive. This show could get kinda rude. You'll think to yourself, I could be anywhere else at the movies or eating a food. Audiences get quite defensive When the jokes become kinda crude You'll turn to your friends, you'll say When does this end? (laughs) I hate it Who is she? And my favorite Bill (laughs) But capitalism is just tapping to the rhythm Of the sound of your pocket full of change I know, I I rhyme capitalism with tapping to the rhythm That's pretty cool And if that doesn't impress you tonight I want you to remember this I've already got your money I've already got your money Even all the bees know the price of honey And I'm just the comb And if you don't like it, you can go home These days everyone's so sensitive I'm never sure just what to say There's no jokes about blacks in my one woman act About the Mormon, the Jewish, or Gay. I can make a gay joke. I have a gay friend. <laughs> Even if that's not impressive to you, how many fucks am I meant to give when you're already here anyway? I'll say what I want to this motherfucker in the front. Hello. How are you? How, yeah, how much? That's a nice seat in the front. Did you have to get here early? Yeah. That's cool. Hey, I think that's really cool. Was it an expensive seat? It was. How much was it? What's it matter? He's already paid. 
Cause capitalism is just tapping to the rhythm of the sound of your pocket full of change. I've already got your money. What if I say it like really blank 182? Like, I've already got your money. My job here is to be funny and occasionally say, <clears throat> oh, honey. <laughs> yes, I said it once, and if I don't say it again tonight, remember, I've already got your money. Sing it, Trixie Mattel is. Wow, I've already got RuPaul's money. And if you don't like it, you can go home. Oh. Wow! Welcome. Those chairs were saved just for you. Everyone else is on time. So I think that's really cool. Listen, honestly, it's hard for me to commit to comedy anymore because as a comedian, I'm supposed to be relatable. But over the last few years, I've had such a meteoric rise to fame and fortune. It's hard for me to relate to anybody but the rich people. You guys in the front, the rich people here, this is about us. The poor people in the back, mama, I don't know them. The cast of Les Mis in the middle of the house, no. If you can see those poor people back there, they have like dirt on their faces. They're like, there is a castle on a cloud. If you guys could see the rich people in the front, these people, they have like furs, they're like, <laughs> But I wrote this song to relate to you guys. The rich people. Hey, rich people, beautiful rich people, don't you hate it when you double park your boat? Whoa. Hey, rich people, Beautiful rich people, don't you hate it when you spill the blood of the poor on your fur coat? You got more money, you've got more problems. You can't use a hundred dollar bill as a condom. <sighs> uh. Hey, rich people, just you guys, rich people. Don't you hate it when your ring turns your finger green? I'm just kidding, that doesn't happen to us. <laughs> Rich. Do you hear, that's what being rich sounds like. It's like. Hey, rich people, I know you feel me, rich people. Don't you hate it when the hooker turns out to be 17? It's like, I'm pretty sure I paid for 16. <laughs> wow, that really spoke to you. <laughs> you got more money and things go wrong. The only way to relate is through a song. <laughs> hey, rich people, just you guys in the front. Rich people, don't you hate it when the valet smokes in your car and you have to throw the whole thing away? <laughs> and have them killed. Hey, rich people, I know you feel me, rich people. Don't you hate it when it's New Year's Eve in West Hollywood and you're with Betsy Johnson and Johnny Weir and Pamela Anderson? And all of a sudden, Pamela Anderson says, let's go to Vegas. And you go, Pamela, we haven't even packed. And she pulls out her Visa card and says, we're packed. <laughs> Two days later, you step out of a taxi in front of the Bellagio Hotel wearing nothing but flip-flops. And the hooker you order passes away. And you have to change your name. to Trixie Mattel. <laughs> you 
You got more money and things get harder. Just ask a celebrity like me or Jennifer Garner. Whoa, 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 rich people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah.